welcome to Gorski Vlogs segment on Monster of the Week. I'm here tonight with our characters. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? I am Father Jean Berkshire. I am the priest at a small parish in Erie and the parish of St. Mary's um, Church. And I seek to help my flock in every way that I can by giving them the knowledge that they need. And I have recently begun studying the mystical arts as well from some ancient Greek and Hebrew texts. Ah, mm. Excellent. And what role are you playing? I am playing the expert, which means that I have the expertise to help my children and my flock with anything they need. And in fact, my good friend Crimson, who will be introduced shortly, he has come to me for advice at times and for even to confess some of his some of his sins. Oh, I, that's me. That's my second. Ah, oh, my name's Crimson. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm a hero. I save people and kill monsters. Uh, in, in that order. In that order. <laughs> Hopefully. Save them first. Kill Save them. them. <laughs> take them I monsters. come back. Yeah. I come back for the monster <laughs> after they're safe. Um, I'm, my role is I'm the chosen one. Uh, so I'm chosen by <laughs> Destiny to be a hero. I knew a girl named Destiny once. Uh, my name's Crimson. <laughs> That's sister. Yeah, yeah, it might be. be. It's all right, all right. mustached man. <laughs> I am Campbell Simmons. I am a local producer from the local news fa facility over in Cincinnati. You know, I play. I am playing a flake, and if it's anything I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to prove that Crimson here <laughs> is a criminal and nothing but a no good vigilante. No good vigilante. No. Uh, popping out of uh, uh, Simmons' van is uh, is Nathan Sillian, the uh, the local. Uh, he's a he's a freelance video photographer guy, um, and he uh, he does a lot of stuff with their with their production station, their new station, um, which just for future reference is the Cincinnati Regional Association of the Press, or CRAP for short, which is also stamped across the van, the company van. So I'll be playing the Snoop. Um, I'm somebody that is there to record and capture, and I have a team of members with me. Um, just for just for future, I'll list them off really quick. I have Ronald Clover. He's there as my cameraman. I have El Elisha Hood, and he's my audio guy. And I have Alicia Dye. It's like an Irish spelling of Dye. And she's our lighting person. Excellent. All right, so our story tonight takes place in Erie, Indiana. A small rural town in the southwest state, or the southwest portion of Indiana. As we enter into the story, the camera pan pans down, we see a dusty Greyhound bus traveling along a highway, um, entering the town from the north. It passes a welcome sign, uh, made crooked, presumably by the wind, or perhaps an intoxicated Residence truck. <laughs> Not quite sure. Anyways, they pass the welcome sign. It reads, Erie, Indiana, your final nesting ground. Mm. Uh, it's got a picture of a spread eagle in the background, superimposed. Um, and in the bottom, where the population underneath it, it reads like 3 0, and then the bottom corner is broken off. But like from what you see entering the town, you wouldn't be surprised if it was just 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> So we see the bus pull into town, it stops at the station, and we see a man in crimson get off. Then also coming from the north, we see an even dustier white panel van <laughs> following this bus, and they also pull into town. So as we enter into town, here's what they see. They see on Main Street, kind of everything's on Main Street. There's a butcher shop, there's a, a general store, Looks like it's got some other stuff going on too. There's an inn. There's um, a subway slash pizza hut. You know, like every small. <laughs> <house>. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a sheriff's department, um, and that's all you see for now. Um, you, yeah, you, said, you get off the bus. Oh, sure. <laughs> what about a shirt? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a bright of course. It's a bright sunshiny. I got it all. 
A bright, sunshiny day in fall, uh, early October. In the distance on the horizon, you see a solitary cloud lazily floating. Um, it's early in the morning, mid morning. Mm -hmm. As, uh, as, as we, we step, step off the bus, bus uh, this, uh, Nathan Cillian has a camera on him, and he's like, What's up, everybody? It's Nathan Cillian back at you again. I'm here in Erie, Indiana. Get ready for some eerie stuff to go down. See what I did there. We'll be coming back live throughout the, the week. We'll doing my vlog here, uh, and I'll catch you guys soon. And he goes up the camera, and I'm like, all right, guys, we got to get all this stuff set up. we got to go, what does what uh, Simmons want? Simmons, Simmons, what do you need us to do? Simmons... Get it all off the bus. Get it all off the bus. Get it set up. I see, Cr I see Crimson's here. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. I want those pictures down as quickly as possible. You got it, boss. I want it done. I want it. When he trips that first old lady, I want to see it. We're going to get everything, boss. You got it. I'm going to just walk along with my buddy, Jasper. Uh, I'm going to go, okay, Jasper. Uh, why are we here again? I, I, who's Jasper? I, well, my buddy Jasper, Jasper Ali, he, he uh, gives, gives me my visions. visions uh, well, well, he gets visions. He just tells me about them. And for some reason, he told me to go to Erie, and I don't know why, and I'm asking him again. Like, what? why'd you bring me here? And then I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll, which is uh, Destiny's Play thing, which is at the beginning of every mystery, I roll plus weird. And I see what's about to be revealed by my immediate future. I just rolled a six. Which, which is, is on a miss, something, something bad, bad is going to happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, or it I see, I see this, this is the vision he's going to Sure, sure. Can you describe to me what Jasper looks like? Uh, bald. Uh, his clothes are super raggy. Uh, and he's got, like... Two, two cigarettes, cigarettes he's currently smoking, smoking. <laughs> on both <laughs> hands, and he's got <laughs> super large minor goggles. Mm. Oh, I was, I was just going to say, I, I almost forgot about this. I, I played this character once before, and I forgot about it last time. I don't want to forget about it now. But I have a, a ability, it's minor celebrity. So at the beginning of the mystery, I'm supposed to roll plus weird. And uh, based on how high I roll, I get to hold. A certain amount, and then I can use those to spend later on to have somebody know me when they meet me, and be like semi impressed whether they watch my blog, which is probably going to be the case. They watch my blog, um, and it, they might ask for like hot, uh, autographs, or I might be able to get information out of them because I'm someone special. I guess. So I just I'll do that. Oh, that is a really good roll. I'll go ahead and do the same. I've got connect the dots that throughout the, the session I can ask a little further information about certain characters. Okay. Certain situations. I have a twelve. This is the first mystery where we had one character, but not only one. We had three characters yeah. who had started the mystery, mystery stuff. stuff. And now after after we've spent it, it's gone. That was it's gone. That was it. That was one of our whole so, moves right there. Yep. I got a twelve, so I get you to hold two. No, so that's two people I could run into that will recognize me as a celebrity. Bottom line, a minor celebrity. All right, so Jasper. He looks to you. <coughs> Crimson. <laughs> yeah. The darkness roosts in Erie. It is growing. You must stop it before it's too late. Yeah, that's... To true. defeat the darkness, you must seek the light. Okay. That's nothing again. That's what you told me before we left the bus. I was hoping once we got here, you'd kind of get like a look at the town. And be better than that. <laughs> the, the priest. Go to the priest. Go to the priest. Okay, that's Go better. That's priest. that's I, more I, specific. Uh, clear enough for you. That's much clearer, actually. <laughs> Crystal. Hey, uh, out of curiosity, Keeper, how many luck are we allowed this mystery? Uh, Tress. <coughs> and after three, we're doomed? Yeah. Okay. You're doomed. doomed. We're doomed. I'm sure the priest could tell us all that. Okay, well, then I'm just going to go to the the the, uh, the priest. I'm going to be like, hey, uh, Jasper, like always, I'm guessing you're not following me on this mission. Yeah, I'm going to give, I'll wait for the next bus. Okay, you're not going to go to the subway? No, of course. Oh, okay. Hey, grab me a, grab me a foot long. Cold cut. Well, I'm going to eat both. Oh, okay, well, that's a bit rude. Okay, I'm going to see this priest, though. All right, so let me give Father Gene a little bit of background of what's okay. been going on here. So, Father Gene, you know 
So you're fairly new to the town. Um, this is kind of a new assignment to you. You've been here uh, maybe a year or so. Uh -huh. um, but people really, you haven't had the warmest reception, I guess. People don't mm -hmm. really like to come to you that often. You have a few local or faithful followers. Um, but people are pretty reserved. They don't want to open up. Just people don't talk too much to they don't outsiders. They take a while to warm up to. Um, like so you also church. know that there's been rumors going on um, that you've heard from a few people that children are going missing. Mm. And it's started just within the last few weeks, like the last three weeks. Well, that actually works out really well for us because we'd have to get them to sign waivers if we wanted to record kids, so... Gosh. As somebody that works with cameras, I know that. <laughs> I mean, we brought yeah, some. We we're, brought some. Worry about that after. So we're we're worry about, about that after. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're walking towards the church at the end of the street. Yeah. It's a humble looking chapel. A little run down. Could use a fresh coat of paint. Mm. Um, you just gonna walk in? Yeah, yeah, sure. And Crimson says, I'm gonna paint. Hey, I'm not gonna knock. And you walk in and you see none other than Father Gene. What are you doing, Father Gene? Um, I am praying. I am deep in prayer. Hey. You uh, tap uh, me on the shoulder. Uh, you uh, oh, oh. Hey, how you, how you doing, Father? Uh, Crimson! Oh, one and only. <laughs> Have you committed any more? Grievous sins, my son? Not recently, no. Nah. Oh, good to hear. Yeah. Very good. I've been oh, a good boy. Lord, the Lord looks favorably on those who stay pure in his sight. So what What mm -hmm. brings you hither? Uh, I got another uh, one of those, uh, you know, I'm always telling you about these uh, these uh, visions I'm getting, right? And uh, Another dream, yes, the young men will dream dreams that... <laughs> yes, that is correct. Uh, and I'm here because I was told that you are my connection to my dream. I am in your dream? Well, no, not exactly you, but it said something about the light. And you were the closest. You're the light of my light, is, light, is what I'm saying. I cannot think uh, why, why I would be um, such help. But if you are seeking the light, you must seek it. You must seek it in the Word. In the word of the Lord, you must seek His wisdom okay. to see what He has. Well, I'm here to seek your wisdom. Hmm. Well, we've been having, and I have an ability also, that if I give my honest advice to someone, that they get um, plus one. Yeah, when a hunter comes to you for advice about problem, give them your honest opinion and advice. If they take your advice, they get plus one ongoing while well, following your advice, and you mark experience. Well, my son, I've, I've been hearing rumors about missing children, and it's sad. I mean, these children that the Lord has given us, these blessings of our life. Um, and I would go, and I would go to the school, and I would see what any of the is there a school here? There is. Oh, how small is it? <laughs> oh, it's actually surprisingly big. Like some of the students come from the surrounding mm. area. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So I would ask the teachers or perhaps the principal what he can tell you about about this. I I'm not getting anywhere with any of the parents, any of my parishioners. They haven't opened up or talked to me about it. But maybe. If you involve involve their teachers, maybe you can find some something. I don't know what else to tell you, but there's something evil going on here. I, I can sense it. I can just sense the foulness. Well, since I know that lying is something you don't do, uh, considering the holy word, I am going to go straight to the school because I feel like that's where I need to uh, go. So I mark an experience, and you get one forward. Is <laughs> one going? Oh, hello, well, well, well. Are you going with him? I didn't ask him to. No, I'm just saying, is he going to follow you around? Um, if you want to, I don't care. Would you like me to accompany you, my son? Will, will you hold me up? up? I will not hold you up, my son. Okay, I don't care. 
Okay. I'll raise you up. Oh! I'll raise you up. Okay. Well, if you'll raise me up, then that's much better. I'll let you lean on him. I'm gonna go that way. All right. So while well, this meeting has been going on, what what did you, uh, Nathan and Simmons do? Um. We're looking, I guess we're going around town asking for, or we'll look, I mean, we might know about it. Uh, we might know who uh, the parents are of the kids that have gone missing, and we're looking for them. Okay. Any any of the parents, I guess. Uh, well, as you do in any RPG game, <laughs> to get the local gossip, you might want to go to uh, the bar. To the inn? To the inn. Or you can get a drink. I hope for that. Of, of course! course. <laughs> hey, if, if, if you're, you're going to send us, if we go to the bar, might as well start off the day right. If anything, we are, uh, my group and I will be in the van right outside the bar. Oh, and we'll be okay. getting all the equipment put together and stuff like that and trying to get it ready. And then you go ahead and get the information. Alright. So I will go find the local bar and I'll walk in, have a lovely seat at one of these, I'm sure, beautiful, beautiful tables and chairs, correct? Oh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> barky, Barky, can I please have a gin and tonic and hold the tonic, please? I uh, hear you've been having some local trouble with uh, your children going missing. There are no children around here. It's a bar. What are you talking about? I, I assumed you, and you knew about outside the bar, you know. The surrounding community. The surrounding community. You ain't come around No, I'm not. I'm not. We're visiting, visiting. Right. Me? Oh, I'm Campbell, Campbell Simmons. Simmons. I'm over from, from, <laughs> from Cincinnati. Cincinnati? Yeah. Why are you asking so many questions? I'm, I'm just, just curious, curious about, about some stuff, stuff you know. know. Trying Try to help out some local folks. folks. Do, do what, what I can, do what I can. I mean, I've heard a few things. Uh, Miss Taylor, she's been talking. Also, you see, so as far as you enter, it's pretty empty. There's, um, there's actually only a few patrons, but um, one who strikes you is this older man. Um, he's just kind of hunched over his drink, just kind of circling his finger around the rim of the glass. Um, but there's quite a few empty, empty glasses next to him. <laughs> You, my good man. You, my good man. You, you look like you have to get. You have something you need to get off your your chest. Can I buy you a drink and I'll listen to what you have to say? You seem like you, you got something you got to get off your chest. A free drink. Better finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> Two more bartender. <laughs> he gets a little smile on his face, oh. just like half a smile. <laughs> I'm just here trying to help. I've, I, f I know how you feel. I know how you feel. I, I was the same way after my wife died. My wife died in a tragic incident. And I was the same way that I crawled into a bottle for a long time. And it took a long time to get back on. You don't say. Well, Linda lost her to an overdose. Uh, she just couldn't cope with the needs of our child, Lucy. Uh, she'd struggled. Stop. 
mental institution. Could you describe these gentlemen? I I have a friend outside who who was really be very helpful in this situation. Would you be willing to help talk to him and maybe give us a description of these these evil gentlemen, these these hardened jerks that that have taken the light of your life? It's been so long I can hardly remember. I mean that was forty years ago. Are you sure? Because, you know, truth and, and justice, it doesn't have an expiration date. We can always help. You know, they shut down that place years ago, but they never really explained what happened to my daughter. Maybe they said they shipped her away to other foster parents. Downs up your dreams. <laughs> it kind of goes into a, a stupor. All right. Gonna head back outside, and there's a guy in there named Hector. Okay. You need to get his story. Get yes, it on sir. camera. All right. Do whatever it takes. You got it, boss. All right. All right. All right. Get, get the crew. Crew, go to the bar. We're gonna get to the bar. We all like fall into the bar. All awkward. We're like, we, we, we're, we're the kind of people that we're, we're past the whole feeling awkward and uncomfortable in recording situations because we've done it so much. We've dealt with like really frustrating people. So we just like go straight in. And if anybody's like, wait, what are you doing? We just like ignore them. And then, you know, you got, you got, uh, uh, Elisha's got the boom mic hanging over the thing. And Alicia, she's, uh, she's got lighting. That she's setting up all over, and she's holding one over this this old man. You said it was old man, right? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, no, yeah. There's an old no. man in there, and then I sit down with the camera, and I'm like, uh, "Hi, nice to meet you, sir. I'm uh, Nathan Sillian. I'm a CRAP News, or at least I am currently. Uh, but otherwise, I'm a freelancer. Here's my card, and card. And then I'm like, "All right, let me uh, tell us about the story. Uh, my uh, my associate outside, he was just telling me about uh, something about a daughter or something along those lines. Go. This is a bar. There ain't no children around here." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you said uh, your daughter got uh, kidnapped or something like that or uh, taken or uh, you can't give me much details, but I'm sure you can. What are you talking about? I'm, I've been single all these years. Living the bachelor life, yeah. Am I talking to the bartender? <laughs> yeah, you're talking to the bartender. I'm going to peek in and just... But it does get a little lonely. That one! You heard it here first, folks. He's lonely. You ever tried using a... a, 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 a cinder... Or, <laughs> or go wish. This town's not plenty of hotmail.com. Plenty of wish. Oh jeez. Gofish.com. Gofish.com. Go kind of a small pond around these parts. Religious <laughs> mingle. <laughs> Feel like I'm kind of fish too dry. Oh. <laughs> Well, that was quite a story, and I'll be sure to add it to my vlog, sir. Anyways, next to, to the next old man. <laughs> we move on. Old man, old man. How many old men are in this cavern? There's like three. <laughs> I interview all three of them. <laughs> I just start asking about their daughter, but whatever the tangent they go off of, I get that as well. And I'm like, cool, whatever I don't use for the news story, I'm allowed to use for my vlog, so... Do I eventually make it to, I'm assuming, the, the actual man, or does he, like, rush out seeing us, like, asking about someone's daughter? Actually, when he sees, like, the cameras, he kind of, he runs out. Oh, okay, yeah. I wonder if he might. <laughs> well, he, he stumbles out. <laughs> Is he going out the front row where I'm kind of hanging out? He's going out the back. Oh, okay, okay. okay. He's and then, uh... Well, well, once we're all done, we come back outside. I'm like, don't worry, boss. We got every old man that was in there. We did an interview with them, so we should be coming. All right, all right, all right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Anything you know anything about Crimson? No, I didn't hear anything about Crimson. Okay, okay. Sorry. okay. Darn it. No worries, boss. I got my eye out. Both of them, actually. All right, we go back to these two. They're strolling around town. Oh, man. Kinds are strolling around town. It's not really too busy. I mean, it's like a Friday afternoon at this point, uh, but there's not many people around. Um, you don't see, well, you see like one little boy <laughs> playing on the park, or an older boy playing at the park, but otherwise you don't like see anybody. Mm -hmm. um, and you're headed towards the school, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're heading, yeah. Well, that's, well, that's where, where I'm, I'm yeah, heading, I mean, this guy's just following me. Yeah. I'm wondering if we want, I wonder if we should talk to this child, he looks 
That, that is creepy, creepy son. I'm, I'm going to keep, keep going. going. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the school where there are more children. Ha, ha, ha. Very well. Very well. Son. So you get to uh, Erie High and Erie Elementary School. Um, they're all combined. But uh, like it looks like it's a pretty nice place. Um, like surprisingly nice like for the small size of this town. Yeah. Mm. Like that. And also the, the landscaping is just really nice. Oh. It's a lot, a lot of money. money. How so? Alright, so what, what do you do? Do I walk up to the front door and I... It's... I open the door! <laughs> School hours! 8 to 3! Daily! Uh, actually, that opens. It wasn't, it wasn't locked, locked while I'm walking right on in. I mean, it is a school. I am following him, but you don't see any children. I walk, walk up to the front, front desk. desk. Yeah, I don't say that. What, what day, day is it? it? It's a Friday. It's a Friday. Friday. Yeah. In, in the, the middle, middle of the day, day? Uh, and there's, there's no one here. Yes. Well, there's no children. Um, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna yell, yell hey! It sounds like a mystery. I'm gonna roll investigate a mystery. Let's see what I get. Wow. Ooh, I got a... Oh, I got a 10 plus... 11. Do you like that? Well, yeah. yeah. So... <coughs> I guess we can both hold two, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we can get a friend of here. Oh, we can get a friend of here. So you're just kind of looking around the school to try to see what he is. Mm -hmm. Just what are your questions? You know, well, what is being concealed here? I find it strange because I know that there are four children in the school. 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 I mean, it's not, uh, it's not an early hour, it's not a, a holiday. So I want to know what's, what's being concealed, what's different today, what happened? What happened to her, essentially? Okay, so you see a, a sign that you missed coming in on the window. And just, uh, so you notice that you go over to it and it says, the school is closed until further notice due to unexplained absences. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that's what happened. Where... Yeah. Is there a classroom nearby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, at the end of the hall, you see there is a classroom, and it has the light on it. You go right there. Okay. Go, go investigate a mystery in the classroom. Kind of come up to the classroom. It's uh, let's see. it's uh, the sixth grade classroom, and you see mm -hmm. the teacher. Um, she's hunched over a desk. Um, she's got like a box of tissues on the desk. She looks rather sad. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna walk over to her. Here we go. Hey, ma'am, uh, my name is, uh, <gasps> oh, yeah, sorry do I, know her? You. do I know the teacher or no? Do uh, you ask that every time you walk in? Yeah. Do I know you? Father <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> okay. So, so. This is, uh, Nancy Peterson. Um, she actually is one of the few that comes to your services. Ah. Oh. That's nice. And so I say, Nancy, this is, this is my good friend, Crimson. Don't, don't be afraid of him um but he just has some questions we don't know what happened with with um school being closed this just happened recently i know there have been some disappearances but, but i had no idea that it gotten so bad well yeah uh, it started a few weeks ago and kids just started not showing up um, it was just a few at first and then parents started calling saying that they weren't bringing their kid to school that day. The parents just kept keeping their kids at home. I'm sorry, Father, it's been a while since my last confession. It's okay, my daughter. I know. I understand. But uh, one of the students in my class, DJ, DJ Cool, disappeared. Oh, that's a cool name. <laughs> just a couple weeks ago, she just stopped coming to class, and at first I assumed 
you know, she's just being rebellious. She, she gets like that sometimes. Yes, I know, DJ. Um, be rather... Who don't you know? I know everyone in this small town, my son. Then why did you walk in and say, Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, ma'am, where do you think DJ is? Why do I sound like an official? <laughs> Never been in this situation before. I usually just come in and I beat up whatever <coughs> I see. Oh, no offense, I don't. I won't beat up you. I beat up monsters. That's my job. I'm a hero. Can't you tell? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, Maybe if I pose. <laughs> um, Crimson? What was that? Yeah, my name's Crimson. Does that sound interesting? Does that sound familiar? Exactly happened to DJ. I mean, usually she was around here skateboarding after school. A little spunky teen. She was a skater girl. She said, see you later, girl. But then she just stopped coming to class. <laughs> I don't know, it might be a father's bad influence. He's, you know, there's not much to do in this town, so a lot of people turn to alcohol or drugs. Or skating. Luckily, she chose skating. How <laughs> 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 to, to deal with what's going on? She said to me once, you know, when you hit that sick grind, it just everything else falls away. I've always said when when they lose religion, when they lose their purpose in life, they will turn to other things. They will turn to alcohol. They will turn to all the evils of the world! Yeah, Father, are you implying that skateboarding is the sinful nature? A sinful act? Skateboarding is a very dangerous... Very okay, well... <laughs> this, is, this is going great, huh? Well, I can watch her sometimes as she's doing her sick tricks, but... Sick kickflips? I have so much work to do after school, I'm usually in here, but... Uh, well, maybe somebody else around here saw something. Maybe some. Is there anyone else around here? The school seems pretty empty to me. Well, did you try the front office? No one, no one was there. Did you see anything there? Maybe I should have asked more questions. The groundskeeper is, is probably still around. Too. What's the groundskeeper's name? Oh, I bet you know. Oh, should I say who the groundskeeper Are you just gonna make up a name? <laughs> <laughs> the groundskeeper. Um, yes, yes. yes. The groundskeeper, um, Bob. Bob. Wow. All right. Are you sure that's not made up? No, his name. His name is Bob. Okay, his name is Bob. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go see Bob. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Because remember, if something's wrong, I'm gonna help these kids. I'm gonna save them. If they're lost. If they're trapped somewhere. I'll save them. Any information you're not telling me won't help me save Maybe these kids. Maybe you want charm. Manipulate someone, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got manipulated. Uh, that's a six. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't work. Um, Lobby, can I help him out? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I feel twice. Too late to help him out. Too late to help him out. She didn't have much more to say. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> Free experience. <laughs> I'm going to see Bob! <laughs> the bab! Alright. So you're heading outside. Uh, there's the little groundskeeper shed. Some, you know, like, I don't know, somebody trying to start a lawnmower or something over there. In the shed? Like from around the side of the oh, shed. So I'm going to around the side of the shed. <coughs> and you see a, a middle aged man. Balding, he's wearing a you know a jumpsuit, you know. Like a you know, work jumpsuit. Okay. I go, oh, oh Bob! Bob. It's been quite some time since I've seen you at a service. Oh yeah. Well, you've been busy with the lawn, you know. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's always growing. Can't blame you. <laughs> this place is huge. Yeah, usually mow the grass every other day at least. Every other day. Wow, that's, that's a big this, line. <laughs> this lawn is, again, really nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I can tell. tell. The real mystery is the lawn. It grows so fast, it grabs children and pulls them under the ground. Like sometimes I don't understand. They just keep giving me overtime. <laughs> to mow the lawn. Yeah. 
Yes, they must have some some heck of a budget. Okay, so I'm guessing you're here a lot, right? Yeah. Considering how much you have the mother's lawn. Do you know what's happening to all these chillins? Don't miss them? Well, I did see something suspicious. Um, and that's where we're going to end this section. Oh, Cliffhanger! Next time. Oh! oh.